So what is predator exposure about then? It sends a big message out there to the paedophiles that we're, we're not going to stop. That Everybody's trying to stop us doing from what we're doing. But this is just saying that, you know, we are going to carry on. We will fight for what we believe in and that's protecting our kids. So what's your response of the people that actually say it should be down to the police, it should be in the police's hands, it should be a police matter? I say to the people who say that, we wouldn't be having to do this if the police did their jobs. If the police did their jobs, we wouldn't have to come out. We all work full time, we all go to work, it costs us money to go out and catch these paedophiles. If the police did their jobs, we wouldn't have to... We wouldn't have to do this but the, obviously the police are doing their jobs this is why it's cut we're having to go out there and get the convictions that we're getting so what made you passionate to actually go into doing this because you know that you were now having what they call decoys that are going online and pretending to be young children and actually trying to source out these uh, paedophiles online uh, but in that i found the grooming as well we've all got kids and anybody who don't feel passionate about catching a child molester is there's something up with them i'm not just saying because we're hunters we're a proud hunting team but anybody who is not passionate about saving a child's life or what happens to that child, then there's, there's, I think there's something up with that person. There's something terribly up with that person. We are here, we, and like I say, we're pretty exposure and we're here to stay and we're going to keep carry on uh, protecting our kids. But uh, pretty exposure will be a big court case. It cost the taxpayer a lot, a lot of money to actually try and find out what you were doing was legal or if it was not legal. Um, do you think that the outcome where they turned around and you was found not guilty was a waste of money? Um, to be honest, it's cost them over. Uh, I, I don't know. Three hundred thousand. It's cost them over three hundred thousand pound to take us to court. This uh, it's a waste of. Your money, my money, we're all taxpayers, it's cost us all a lot of money. We're saying that we're actually a waste of money and it wasted a lot of money tending you to court. Does it actually, do you think it deems that it should have been right to actually go that, to actually turn around and say there is a place for predator exposure, there is a place for these uh, paedophile hunting teams? in the uh, world it was still a, it was still a waste of money because we shouldn't have be, ever been brought to trial in the first place you know end of the day we've committed no crime we've proved we've committed no crimes uh, so and the police it was all there on video but the police still thought we'll take action like i say this is just a, this is this they wasted all that money knowing they're taking a chance they've wasted the public's money the taxpayers money to take us to trial and it was all there on video evidence anyhow we never committed any a crime it was, the, it, it was there in front of them and we are every one of us are not guilty of the crime they tried to put on us if the police actually did contact you and actually asked if you would like to work with the police would you actually work with them I would work with the police and I'll tell the police now I'll give you 24 hours I will give every I'll give everything over to you you've got 24 hours if you don't if you don't uh, cooperate in that 24 hours if you don't act in that 24 hours we will go and we will sting them i will give you 24 hours if we can do it within an hour i'm sure you've got 24 hours you can go you can go act within 24 hours if not bit of exposure we'll come and get them okay um so what are you going to take from this process that you've actually just had to go through to actually be deemed uh, what you're doing is legal well, obviously, we'll learn from this. You know, they've tried doing this for false imprisonment. They've come out with every... Pff, they've, they've just tried uh, burying us. But, obviously, we'll, we'll learn from this. If You know, we'll learn a lot from this. We, we're learning all the time. We're trying to learn all the time. We're not professionals, and we want to do it as best as we can. Uh, if we can go out there and make a, a citizen's arrest and bring the c culprit to justice... That's that's our job done. That's all we're there to do. Bring it, bring this uh, paedophile or this suspect to justice, and that's all we're trying to do. So we will we will learn a lot from this, and we'll yeah we'll we'll just learn a lot from it, you know. So uh, when police actually go and they're actually investigating these big massive paedophile uh, gang rings, basically, and you're actually jumping into what they say a police investigation by live streaming it because a lot of people actually deem that you're doing that what's your opinion on that in relation to the live streams which we do if we go live to somebody's house or if they're going to meet us in wherever they're going to meet us where the meeting point is the police have to act there and then whereas 
if we go to the police, give them a chat log, the police don't act there and then. So us going live on Facebook, call it, making a 999 call, as soon as we identify the perpetrator, the police have to act on it. And that's why we've got the results we've got. So is the live streaming something you're going to continue uh, doing? Yeah, we're going to continue live streaming because it is effective. And I know if a paedophile living next door to me or next to any of our team, or even you, you'd want to know if a predator living next door to you, you have a right to know. Do you feel uh, worried um, that there could be uh, someone living next door to you that has that kind of interest? I feel worried, yeah, of course we feel worried. Do you know what I mean? It's stressful, do you know, anxious. It, anxious, stressful, the lot. It's put it put pressure on my uh, on my wife where she left. She actually left and went down to to her mum's and left the house. So my, my marriage was nearly over, nearly divorced. Of course it does, I worry for my son, that's my son. Do you know, I worry if anyone does out to him, I worry for her. She's like our mum, do you know what I mean? And she's, she's just like a sister. They, they, they are my family. Of course, we worry about that. People pouring uh, petrol through your letterbox. And, you know, and this is this is the media, what the media has done to us, even though we are innocent. We've been proven innocent. We've done nothing wrong. But our pictures and our faces are all over that internet. Our addresses are all over that internet. They're all over every newspaper going. Do you know what I mean? I think that's wrong. So you're not going to stop that? Not one of us will stop till the day every one of us are dead. Do you know what I mean? We will carry on. No matter what the police say, no matter what they do, we are going to keep fighting. We'll keep fighting because of this lady as well. If she can fight in the how she is now, that gives us a drive and we'll keep fighting till the day we die. And thank you for everything you do and uh, talking to us this evening.